For each bowl cozy you need to cut two pieces of fabric measuring 11 inches and a piece of batting for each fabric as well. So you're going to have two pieces of fabric and two pieces of batting that you're then going to pin together. So one piece of fabric pinned to a piece of batting and another piece of fabric pinned to the other piece of batting. fabric is pinned to the batting. I'm now going to draw a line from corner to corner to make sure that I can stitch a straight line at my machine using my walking foot. I've done my quilting on each piece of fabric and batting. I can remove the pins and we're now going to fold it in half so that we can mark the darts that need to go onto each of these layers. We use a pin to secure our fabric uh, folded in half just to make sure that it doesn't move because we're now going to mark on the batting one inch on the raw edge and two and a half inches on the folded edge and then we're going to join the dots together and this will create our dot. We're going to do this for both pieces and we're going to mark four dots on each of the pieces. We'll stitch two dots at a time, so first, first of all marking two, going to your sewing machine and stitching them, and then we'll come back and mark the other two before stitching them as well, and then repeating it for the other square. Our darts are in place and I'm now going to cut a seam allowance from those darts using my rotary cutter. I'm cutting relatively close so I must have about an eighth of an inch seam allowance for all four darts on both pieces.
When we've got both squares prepared, it's time to stitch them together. Putting right sides together, I'm matching up the dots and the corners of each piece and pinning them in place. Once I've got them pinned together, I'm going to stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance all around the edges, but leave a gap that we're going to turn the cozy right side out. Before we turn the cozy inside out, so with the right side outside, trim each of the corners. I'm just using the scissors just to make it easier to have a neat corner once we've turned it out. Use your purple fang or another suitable tool and just push out the corners so that they're out um, completely and it looks nice and neat. Starting at the opening, I'm pinning it closed, making sure that it's neat and, and catching um, all the layers with the pin. And I'm doing this along all the edges, sort of rolling the edges to um, get them all out turned nicely and pinning them in place. Once I'm happy that I've got enough pins in place and the edges are turned out nicely, I am going to take this to the sewing machine 
and give it a top stitch all along the edge to make it nice and neat and secure the layers and then your bowl cozy is finished. You've got two sides so you can reverse it, use different sides for different occasions. Two-sided bowl cozy.